Welcome to Prime Time. Today we're going to be talking about the setup of the Ultima Time Clock. When you receive it, you go ahead and remove it from the box. It's going to be a self-contained unit here. And it will come with a key. The way you see this positioned right now, it is locked. To unlock it, you'll place the key in and twist it counterclockwise. It's now unlocked and you need to press here and here in order to separate the faceplate from the back. And that might be difficult to do with one hand. So let me pause here and get that open. It's not the easiest, but it will come apart just by pressing on these two in the right spot and then pushing away from the back plate. Now this will only come so far like this, so you need to lift up and then you'll have more access into the clock itself. As we're looking here, your Ethernet cable is going to come through either the back and then it's going to connect here into this silver box. and then just clips in, like so. If you're using Wi-Fi, you don't really have to worry about that. And we'll just unclip it here. And I'll remove it from the back. Now to hang this unit on the wall, we've got three points here, here, and here, where you'll place the screws in the wall. Leave the heads of the screws out a little bit. Make sure you have some good anchors in the back. Uh, if you're just putting screws in drywall, it can cause them to come loose over time and uh, enable the clock to fall, and you don't want that. So leave the head of the screw out of the wall just a tad, and it will be able to go in and up under here to be affixed to the wall. Now there's also a screw here or a screw hole and one at the bottom. <clears throat> you can access these from the inside of the clock down here and up here and add additional screws so that the clock cannot be removed from the wall by simply lifting it up and taking it off. We have the battery that's right here and the battery will be connected via this wire and there's only one spot that it'll plug into. <clears throat> You'll notice the grooves or the protrusions on that side will match up with that white right here and just push it in and the clock or the battery will be charged as the clock has power. Now you can bring your cables through the bottom through the back if they're through the wall or through the top down inside. Your power is this cable and has this little connector that your power supply will plug into. So this can be left inside and then through one of the holes bring the power cable in from the outlet plug it in here. <clears throat> Once it's on the wall and you've got the power and the ethernet in, you can close the clock back up and we just push and it's back in place. You can then use your key insert it like so and twist it clockwise and a little bit of pressure to get it all the way to the right and then remove the key. And now your clock will be ready for use. Once your unit is connected uh, to power and the ethernet, it will start up. And it should bring you up to the application for the time clock. At this point, you're going to press on the three dashes at the top. 
this will bring up the administrative menu and we've got user settings view log firmware data and quit app so one of the things you'll need to do uh, on a regular basis is select data and then you'll want to delete all logs and then yes that should be done once a month or so to clear the clock out and continue it working as uh, efficiently as possible but to set it up into the software once it's connected you'll need to click on settings and if the clock has not been set up in your software at this point we will need that serial number this is a different serial number than what's on the outside of the box the time clock server should already be listed in there and if we click save we should get a green success successfully saved that makes the connection to the server that tells me that we're connected to the network I don't see any red box that comes up saying device ID invalid so that means that that serial number is placed into the company and now we're able to go in and enroll users um, or soon after we have the users enter to the software we would be able to enroll them thank you for watching and we'll bring you another video on how to enroll fingerprints in the Ultima clock for your viewing. Thank you.